How did the recent instability in Europe impact Finland? Hello and welcome to Opentiera, where today we're immersing ourselves in the wonders of Finland. From its breathtaking landscapes to its vibrant culture, join us on a captivating journey through this Nordic gem. Stick with us till the end to understand how Finland navigates its path amidst global shifts. At over 130,000 square miles, Finland is one of the largest countries in Europe. It shares borders with Sweden, Norway and Russia. Despite its northern location, it has a milder climate than other countries at similar latitudes due to the moderating influence of the North Atlantic current. The country is comprised of several clear geographical zones. The coastlands along the Baltic Sea and Gulf of Finland have a flat, low-lying landscape. Moving inland, you'll find the Lake District, which contains thousands of lakes formed during the last Ice Age. Forests are also abundant here. In the far north lie Finland's great wilderness expanses like Lapland, this Arctic region features tundra, fells and the Scandinavian mountains along the border with Sweden and Norway. About 10% of the country lies north of the Arctic Circle. Finland contains an enormous amount of fresh water in nearly 200,000 lakes, numerous rivers and wetlands. Most of the country is covered in boreal forest, largely pine, spruce and birch trees, over 70% of the country remains forested land. While most Finns live in urban areas in the south, the country has vast areas with virtually no permanent population, perfect for those wanting to connect with Finland's scenic natural beauty. Finland has been inhabited since the end of the last ice age, about 9000 BC, when the first hunter-gatherers arrived after the ice sheets retreated. Artifacts such as pottery, weapons and jewellery show these early Finns had contacts with Scandinavia and Eastern Karelia. In the 12th and 13th centuries, Sweden would begin establishing its control over Finland, which would last for several centuries. In 1155, the country was integrated into Sweden through the introduction of Christianity and the establishment of Catholic Church provinces. Much conflict would emerge between Swedes and Orthodox Finns over the new religion. For many centuries, Finland would be a battleground between Sweden and Russia, who fought a series of conflicts over control of the Baltic. By about 1800, the country had become an autonomous Grand Duchy ruled by the Russian Tsar. Finns began arguing for political reform and a nationalist movement emerged. This push for independence set the stage for Finland to declare itself an independent nation on December 6, 1917, in the aftermath of the Russian Revolution. However, independence was not achieved without internal conflict. Just months later in January 1918, a bitter civil war erupted between the working-class Reds, who were aligned with Russian Bolsheviks and demanded a socialist regime, and the Conservative Whites, an alliance of nobility and middle-class Finns who favoured a capitalist democracy. The civil war raged for over three months, resulting in thousands dead from warfare and disease, and leaving deep divisions between the Reds and Whites. Ultimately, the conservative whites prevailed due to superior military leadership and aid from German forces who opposed communist expansion. The whites established a parliamentary democratic system of government. However, tensions from the war continued for years, with the losing red subject to executions and detention camps. The Civil War remains a traumatic event etched in the modern Finnish psyche that shaped political alignments and identities henceforth. But the nation would later heal these wounds through compromise, cooperation and a unified national identity that has kept Finland remarkably stable since this tumultuous founding. Finland is home to over 5.5 million people according to the World Bank. 
They predominantly descend from an ancient Baltic tribe called the Finns. Today, ethnic Finns make up about 88% of the population. The only significant minority group is the Sweden Finns, at just over 5% of the population. Unlike other Nordic countries, Finland is linguistically very homogeneous, with Finnish being spoken by nearly the entire population. However, many Finns also speak excellent English and other European languages. Religiously, most Finns belong to the Evangelical Lutheran Church, which has over 4 million members, or about 75% of Finland's population. Lutheran Christianity has played a defining role in the country's historical and cultural development over the past several centuries since Swedish rule. About 20% of Finns today consider themselves non-religious. Other smaller religious groups include Eastern Orthodox Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses, Muslims, Jews and the Old Believers. Freedom of religion is safeguarded for all. Finland has a highly educated population, abundant natural resources and an excellent infrastructure system. The World Bank estimates the country's GDP is about $280 billion. Key industries include electronics and machinery manufacturing, telecommunications, chemicals, vehicles and forestry products. Major Finnish companies include Nokia, the paper company Stora Enso and game developer Supercell. While private ownership and free markets are at the foundation, the government also plays an active role. Taxes are high in exchange for generous social welfare programs and investments in human capital development. Unemployment benefits and healthcare access are universal. Finland is an export-oriented country, with about a third of economic production dependent on foreign trade. Main exports include machinery, vehicles and electronics. Top trade partners are Germany, Sweden and Russia. Finland finds itself in a highly unique and complex geopolitical situation, wedged between East and West and having to balance relations with giant neighbours Russia and the EU. As a Nordic country, Finland leans westward politically. It has very close ties with Scandinavian neighbours like Sweden and Norway, who share a similar culture. It is also a member of the EU and uses the euro. However, Finland shares a sprawling 830-mile border with Russia in the east and has had to be pragmatic towards its huge neighbour. There's a long history of conflict, but also pragmatic cooperation when interests align. This balancing act means Finland, until 2023, was militarily non-aligned and not part of NATO, unlike other Nordics. During 2022, war and instability in Europe caused Finland to re-evaluate this long-standing neutral stance. Fears grew that without the collective defence assurances NATO provides, Finland could someday face a similar fate as countries in the region. This spurred Finland into applying for membership and eventually joining NATO. Domestically, Finland has emerged as a socially progressive, stable democracy with low levels of corruption and inequality. However, its rapid rise from a largely agrarian society has created some political fragmentation and populism. Finland has a thriving contemporary art scene and rich artistic traditions. Finnish artwork often examines the relationship between nature and technology while retaining strong decorative elements. Famous Finnish painters include Helene Schiefbeck, Akseli Galan Kalela and Tove Janssen. Finnish architects are recognized for brilliantly incorporating nature into their minimalist designs. The internationally renowned Alvar Aalto pioneered a distinctive Nordic modern style featuring simplicity of form, natural lighting and curved lines emulating nature. Other influential architects include Eliel Saarinen and his son Eero Saarinen of the 20th century. 
contemporary Finnish architecture continues to set global trends thanks to innovations in green building and digital fabrication using wood. Let me know if you'd like me to elaborate on any other cultural aspects of Finland. When it comes to iconic Nordic flavors, Finland certainly delivers. Here's a quick list of dishes you must try when visiting Lohikeito. This creamy salmon and dill soup is the national comfort dish perfect for warming up on cold days. The sweetness of the fish balances beautifully with tangy sour cream. Mustik Kap Irakka. No trip to Finland is complete without trying this sweet blueberry tart topped with vanilla sauce. The contrast of warm sugared crust and chilled custard is divine. Monkey. Locals adore these melt-in-your-mouth donuts, often dunking them in coffee for an afternoon pick-me-up. The addition of cardamom gives them a uniquely Nordic twist. Leipa Justo. Beer and ciders are often paired with Leipa Justo. Squeaky fresh cheese curds fried until crispy and molten. It's a quintessential Finnish grilling cheese. Munavoi, this classic Finnish spread, consists of hard-boiled egg yolks that are mashed together with butter, salt and pepper. Munavoi makes the perfect topping for dark rye breads. After hearing about all these tasty treats, I'm ready to book a flight to Helsinki. Let me know in the comments which Finnish dish tempted your taste buds the most. If you enjoyed this video on Finland, you'll love this next one.